Before we receipt in a purchase order, let's view it again to add in any related costs such as freight. If you scroll down, you will see the cost line section, which is where you can add the costs. Your first step would be to add in the supplier who is charging you. This could be the same supplier you are ordering the products from. You can then add in the cost and whether it's taxable or not. There's also a cost date, which specifies the date shown in your accounting software, and a reference field which you can use. You are also able to add in comments to specify what this cost is for. So let's say that this was an international freight charge, then click Add. Once your cost has been added, Unleashed will distribute the cost over the purchase lines based on the weighted subtotal of each line by default, unless another distribution method has been set up. So here you can see that my cheaper item, beer bottles, will get less freight allocated to it than my more expensive item. You can update the costing as long as the costs allocated to the purchase lines equals the sum of the total cost line. As we've received all these goods, let's receipt by clicking on this button and then confirm receipt. However, if you did not receive all the goods that you ordered, you are able to change the receipt quantity before you confirm the receipt. So let's say that I only received 50 out of the 100 cardboard boxes that I ordered. Once you do this, the receipt button will change to a split receipt button. You can then click on that button to receive the goods that you currently have. So let's do that, then we can complete this purchase order. The system will then automatically create a second purchase order for the remaining goods, which are yet to be received, which will have the same purchase order number as your original, but with a dash one appended to it. When those goods eventually arrive and you receive them in, you can then add any associated costs and then complete that order. Once done, the status will change to receipted. Now you may encounter a situation where your freight invoice is issued after you receive the goods. In this case, Unleash gives you the ability to add costs after the goods have been receipted as long as you have not yet completed the purchase order. The system will display a message to say that if you do not have any additional purchase costs, then you can go ahead and complete the purchase order. In our example, however, we do have extra costs. So let's go back to the purchase order by clicking the View Purchases button on the top right hand side of the page. We can then go down to the cost line section and add in our additional purchase costs. So let's add in another $20 to cater for the additional cost and add that in again. That additional cost will be spread across the purchase order lines. Once you're certain that you have captured all the costs related to that purchase order, you can then go ahead and complete the purchase order. Please note that recosting your purchase orders has an impact on a number of transactions, such as supply returns margins within a sales order stop adjustment and more. Please check the Unleashed help files for detailed information in this regard. Thank <laughs> you.